The new final shape powers like the Pale Heart combine light and darkness. Guardians can wield multiple elements at the same time and live out their lore fantasies in the game's sandbox now. Today we discuss the story of Prismatic. It's always been around, others have used it before, and it's been hinted at since the Taken King. So from the Final Shape trailer, what is Prismatic? Prismatic is a new subclass in power that allows Guardians to wield light and dark at the same time. Certain aspects, fragments, and abilities can be customized. Where your super bar normally is, you'll now have a light and dark meter. They will fill up when you use different light or dark abilities and over time through kinetic kills. Once charged and those fill up, you'll become transcendent. You've seen the gameplay and it looks really hectic and fun at the same time. The definition of prismatic, relating to or having the form of a prism or prisms, of an instrument incorporating a prism or prisms, and of colors formed, separated, or distributed by an optical prism or something acting as one. So in this case, the forces of light and dark together. Transcendent, beyond or above the range of normal or merely physical human experience. Surpassing the ordinary, exceptional. Prismatic is new, but we've seen stuff like this before, multiple times. As I've talked about in recent videos, Osiris in Veil vale Audio spoke about how the Traveler in Veil vale might have been whole at one point, and also that powers of light and dark might have been one, which we've come to wield. Two halves of a whole, long divided, a schism between them, reunited. A glimpse beyond to the beginning. <laughs> so, wait, does this mean the light and darkness were the same once? One force? Dr. Essie believed so. But it is a theory. One many scholars will explore once this data is shared. Our guardian, like Nezarek, is seen being altered by light and dark powers in the trailer when acquiring the new subclass. In Lightfall, the Traveler unleashed a beam of terraforming light that came into contact with the pyramid ship of the Witness. Here on this ship lie the remains of Nezarek, the final god of pain, his head encased by the Witness. The Traveler's beam began to terraform parts of the ship and also revive Nezarek himself. In the Root of Nightmares raid, the Guardians fight through the ship using light and darkness and bring Nezarek back to defeat him for good, or so we hope. Nezarek, like the ship, was revived with light and dark powers. These sensations, the tingle in my fingertips, this power is familiar yet different. Oh, it's invigorating. If I had a modicum of my original power, I'd have killed one or three of those citizens to expedite your arrival. I can hear the shifting roots across the pyramid's architecture. Taste the paracausality on my tongue. Progress.
Searching Prismatic on Ishtar Collective brings up some interesting results. There was the Prismatic Recaster used many years ago in seasons to focus engrams. There's certain currencies and focusing engrams also connected with the word, which was likely nothing. The latest mentioned was in this season, Season of the Wish. The word is used in a lore card when Sir Ido describes Huggin and Munin, Ahamkara of the Dreaming City. The Wish Dragons took to the air one final time, soaring nimbly between the pillars on wings of prismatic light. Sir Ido watched their pale, sinuous reflections sweep across the surface of the geodes. Prismatic light is an interesting phrase. But this gets even more interesting when we look as far back as the Taken King. Throughout Ishtar, there are many quotes from something called the Parables of the Allspring. Quotes from Brother Vance of all characters and the Aeon Cult and the journeys they've had across the system and Mercury. You'll find this, the Prismatic Heart, a hunter artifact released in the Taken King, which looks very similar to some of the prismatic colors we see with the subclass and the Pale Heart Portal. Now their story is very cool, and I think an entire video could be remade on that topic, but each weapon or item has different quotes that can be put together to tell their story. Here's some of the most intriguing quotes. Light burns, light heals, light blinds, light reveals. The courage to walk into the darkness, but the strength to return to the light. Close your eyes and open your mind. Even the dead are not beyond our reach. To know true color, you must first know darkness. One day, you will see them both. Let the heat melt your body so your soul might flow with the river of time. So these quotes, although they are old, are kind of crazy with some possible connections. Did Bungie have this planned all the way back in The Taken King and through various expansions since? Maybe, maybe not. But even the dead are not beyond our reach instantly reminded me of Cade. We have the light and it says, to know true color, you must first know darkness. Both of them together give you prismatic. One day you will see them both and a mention of the river of time, kind of like the river of souls from Lightfall. Brother Vance disappeared into the infinite forest during the events of Arrivals, but do some of these beliefs hold true? And this one's really out there, but during the 2013 Destiny reveal at E3, a warlock uses solar grenades and Nova Bomb. This is much different and likely was just there to show off gameplay, they didn't have things nailed down yet, but it's kind of cool to take a look back at. More fallen below. I see him. They're pulling back to you. Let's do this. Yes, Darla. Okay, here I go. Anyway, Guardians, that's all we got for today's video. Some connections between Prismatic and the past of Destiny. If you know any other lore examples like this, be sure to let us know in the comments. And if you'd like to see some more videos just like it, please be sure to subscribe. I thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.